Hi everyone. As the first finite element project, we want to simulate this bar structure, which consists of two bar elements. It is fixed at one end and is under this axial load on the other end. The bar structure consists of two bar elements. The length is the same. The cross-sectional area is different. It is 20 units for the first element and 10 units for the second element. The material is the same, so the elastic modulus is 1000 units. Notice that Abacus doesn't have any built-in units except for rotation and angle measures. So you need to be consistent with your units. If elastic modulus is in megapascal, then the area must be square meter. If it is PSI, it must be square inch. Now let's start simulating this bar structure. So click and open the abacus file on your computer and select with a standard explicit model. Now from the menu, select file, select set work directory. And here you can select the folder that you want to save your project. You can select any of these folders or you can create a folder here so I would create a new one. I would type finite element projects as the name for this folder. Now I would select this from my directory and then click OK. So all the project files will be saved in this finite element projects folder. Now make sure to save your file at regular intervals. So I would save it as the name project one. So it would be a CAE file and it would be saved in finite element projects folder. So click on model and select manager. Here you can rename the model. I would type 1D bar, one dimensional bar, then click OK. And dismiss this dialog box. Now we are already in the part module. If you are not in part module, go to this module and select part. Click on create part. Here select 2, 2D planner, type deformable and base feature wire. Approximate size, you can so you can select 20 for this example. The approximate size doesn't affect the result of your simulation. For this example, 20 is good. Then click continue. The sketching grid will appear here. You have these different sketching tools in the toolbar. Select the create lines connected. Now you can pick a starting point for the line or you can enter the coordinates of the points. I would enter the coordinates. 0, 0, enter, 6, 0, enter. Press escape and here notice that as you move the cursor, the coordinates is shown here. Now press escape, click done. Now the geometry is complete. You need to partition your geometry. Click on create partition. Select edge, select midpoint, select this option here and select the midpoint create partition now close this dialog box now it's time to move on to the next option in the module section so here the toolbar is showing different tools now and here we have the model tree we have results tree and material library. So I would create a material here from mechanical 
select elasticity, elastic. So this is material one. The young modulus is 1000. Poisson's ratio is zero. Click OK. Now you need to create your sections. Click on this item here. Select beam for category and type truss. This is section one, continue. Cross sectional area for the first section is 20 units. And repeat this for the second section. Section two, beam, truss, continue. And the cross sectional area is 10. Okay. Now you need to assign the sections to the elements that you have here. Select this first element, done, select section 1, OK, and now select the second element, done, section 2, OK, done. Now we need to move on to the next option here, assembly. You need to assemble your model, click on create instance. Select dependent mesh on part and then OK. Now you need to create analysis step. Create a step. Make sure that this step is after the initial condition and then it is the procedure type is general, static general. Continue. Time period is 1. Make sure nonlinear geometry is off and then click OK. Next option here is to apply loads. The first load and the only load in this example is a concentrated force. So category is mechanical, concentrated force, and the step is the step one. Continue. Select this point at the right end, click on done, and as this is in, the load is in x direction, CF1 stands for the concentrated force in x direction, which is one unit, in positive direction, click OK. Now it's time to add the boundary conditions, click on create boundary condition, Boundary condition 1, you can rename it here. Make sure it is initial condition. Category is mechanical, displacement and rotation. Continue. Now select this endpoint at the left side. Done. So you need to fix rotational and translational displacement at this point because there is a rigid support here. So click on U1. U2, UR3. This is displacement in X direction, in Y direction, and this is rotation about Z direction. Click OK. Now these orange arrows shows that displacement in X and Y direction is fixed, and this blue line shows that rotation about Z axis is fixed. Notice that the load and the boundary condition is added to the model tree here. You can edit them here if you right click you have the option to edit, rename, copy, and anything else here. So it's time to move on to the next option, which is Mesh. Click on Mesh. The toolbar changed. And now you need to, before um, creating the Mesh, make sure that object is, um, part is selected as the object. And then click on Seat Edges. Select the first element, press and hold the shift key and select the second element. So both elements are now selected. Click on done. Set the method to by number and here set the number to one. Apply. Okay. So now we have one element here and one element here. Click on mesh part and answer yes. So this blue line shows that the mesh is created now. 
Next, you need to assign the mesh type, the element type. So assign element type here. Then select the both elements. Press and hold shift and then select the other element. Done. Now element library is a standard. Geometric order is linear. Make sure to select truss as the family. And then we have this truss two dimensional displacement and stress elements. Click OK. So the element type is now assigned. And as the last step, you need to create the job and submit it. Create job. Job 1. Bondi bar, make sure the source is selected as model, continue. For job type, full analysis, for raw mode, background, and for submit time immediately is by default selected. Click OK. You can add a description if you want here. Now job manager, click on job manager, and this job is selected, you can submit it here. Here it is written that the job has been successfully submitted and successfully completed. Now we can go to results. You can see the undeformed structure here. If you click on this uh, plot counters on the formed shape, you can see the deformed structure. And you have this legend that shows that each color coded um, represents um, what amount of stress. So here you can change your field quantity to strain. Again, you have this legend for strain. Or you can change it to concentrated force, reaction force, and displacement in x direction. So from the report tab, go to field output, select no unique nodal preposition and here you can select what field quantity that you want uh, on your plot. Select epsilon 1 1 for strain in x direction. Select S11 as stress in x direction and for displacement select U1 which represents displacement in x direction. Click apply and OK. Now from the model tree, double click on path. Path 1, node list, continue. Select part 1, 1, add before. And now if you go back to stress, the prompt bar shows that uh, you need to select nodes to be inserted into the path. So select the endpoints of the elements. Click on done. Click OK. And now path one is created. Now double click on XY data. Select path. Continue. Pass one is selected by default. For y, y value, so x value is the length of the bar structure. And for y value, you can select different field quantities. Click on field output, and here you have S11 that you can select. And then click on plot. So now you have the plot for stress versus the position along the bar structure. Again, double click on XY data, path, continue, path one is selected for Y. Select this time, select displacement in X direction, apply, OK, and plot the data. So this is a displacement in element one, this is displacement in element 2. 
You can convert your plot to an Excel file, go to Plugins, Tools and select Excel Utilities. Click OK. Now you have the Excel file here that shows displacement along the bar structure. You can do the same thing for the stress. So again, double click on X, Y data, path, path run, and select stress in X direction, plot, and convert it to Excel. So there's just one modification that is needed here, format access, and here for access type, select date access, and this is um, what you have for stress. You can save your files where, where you have other file of this project saved. So I would save it in project one. Now here, if you want to go back to the deformed shape, you can go to job and see the results. And if I go back to the folder, finite element project folder, so you can see that you know, we have different types of files here. This is the main folder, the main file, CAE file. We have the record file and all other file which refers to this project. For example, this output database file, if you don't have this, you won't be able to see the results. So this is how we model a bar structure using Abacus.